Yeah, hey guys, welcome back from Mario Sunshine. Wow. Of course, it's up to me to realize that my that Mario was moving automatically. Um, but whatever. Aside from me not noticing. Um, once I forgot a few things actually. I forgot that it is actually possible to get the hundred points shine sprites in Gelato Beach and Rico Harbor by now, but. I don't really want to do those yet, same with the blue coins, if I've never explained it, but... Because I just want to head off to Pina Island, and I love how it just fires you off and completely misses. But yeah, Pina Park, Mecha Bowser appears. Uh, so this is the fourth world here, and it starts- And this is one of the most controversial missions in the whole game, actually. Gotta love doing that. And of course, it starts off with the Shadow Mario chase. This one, however, you can't even hit him. Try as you might, you will not hit him. Just gotta get over here. Nice intro, buddy. Amazing, what a spectacular This is a new show, of course. You guys are great. Remember how you need to mix. Let me admit a few of you. I have a very good view. I know I don't have to love the dragon. I don't know what I need to hear your success. I do you guys that hear the vehicle. Follow me. And, here we have quite possibly my favorite boss fight in the game. Uh, this is, as I said, my favorite, quite possibly my favorite boss fight in the game. Uh. It's a lot different than the other bosses that we've been that in the game, or even that we've encountered so far. Okay. I believe this guy takes about three hits. Oh, it's three direct hits, maybe. Direct hit. Ah, uh, you wanna wash out the flames while you're there. Let's try and hit him from the top. I've done it before. It's possible to hit him from the top of this thing. Nope, of course I fail. Ah, uh, yes, so, um... Oh, wow! <laughs> I hit him all going upside down, achievement unlocked! Oh, that was kind of an epic finale there. Mario! <gasps> Plot twist! So the graffiti... That was 
you? This is my magic brush. When I draw with this, all my wishes come true. A strange old man in a white coat gave it to me. A strange old man in a white coat? But why would you pretend to be Mario? Papa told me everything. He said, Mario's a bully. He never fights fair. He said, Junior, you gotta try to outsmart Mario. So I tried to get Mario sent to prison. But they didn't lock him up. And now he came to steal Mama Peach again. You, you pest, stop following us. Uh, okay, first of all, I'm adding that that lasts into horrendous mouth movements. Second of all, we still have four Shadow Mario missions left in the whole game. And third off, the dialogue about the Mama Peach thing raises extreme controversy. No, not again. I must I freaking love this, I must say. It appears to be heading toward Corona Mountain. Uh yeah, anyways, uh you can see the shine spread over there. And then of course it has to play the animation of it showing up, because it's bad game design, I know. Oh, uh, we can actually see um two of the next levels over here. Here, was random durian. Uh, over there, that was Gelato Beach, and over there is Serena Beach. Uh, Serena Beach is well. I'll I'll make reference of it. I'll explain it later. Yahoo! Time for episode two: the Beach Cannon Secret, and also information on that controversy. Uh, well, I should have first explained this. Uh. This is by far the mission I would recommend for the 100 coins, because this thing shoots out bullet bills, and there's three types. There's the normal ones, which give off two. There's homing ones, which also give off two. And then there's gold ones, which give off eight, and I did not mean to activate that red coin right there. Come on, I want to get a gold one. Alright, here we go. Yeah, see? And considering every single one gives you coins, this is by far the recommended mission. They pick it up. Oh, jeez. What the? Fungus? Also, these things here drop coins, too, so... You have plenty of coins to work with if yes, I don't know, somehow screw up. Oh, uh, but the controversy was that, uh, Mar- um, about that Mama Peach thing, it's a- supposedly that when Peach gets kidnapped in this game, that, um, or one of the games that- uh, Bowser ended up raping Peach and she had a Koopa, like another Koopa kid or something like that. It, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever, because it's obviously Bowser's phony baloney lies. And check it out, it's totally not from a game I'm currently playing through now. And hello, giant Yoshi egg. Uh, yeah, so this level has Yoshi, has Yoshi eggs and failure. So anyways, this level actually has the blocks from Heat Man stage in Mega Man 2. Uh, over there is a one-up, but I don't think it's personally that worth it because it's out of the path and you honestly don't need it. Uh, steering yourself on those trampolines can be tough. And then here is just basically just a straight trail. If you slide, you shouldn't have any trouble making it in time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, as Baby Mario would say. Brady, I think I have time for one more. Episode 3, Red Coins of the Pirate Ships. I would, I would make, um, 
of swag. Sh I would make another reference to swag, like I did in Minish Cap, and it was also ironically from the Minish Cap, his Minish Cap review. But oh uh, no, I'm not going to. <laughs> it was funny though. Really, you should go check out Swag. He's in my recommended channels, like list thing, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this one's pretty simple to get all the red coins in. <laughs> Go freaking high enough and I glitch right through it. Wow. I must say, Peanut Park has pro is probably the buggiest level out of all the levels, honestly. It's... Not really what I'd say bad game design, it's just that the slope detection on those pirate ships isn't very bad at good at, and then there's also a part later that has a horrendous camera, we'll be probably seeing it in episode 5. Yeah, see, this thing's freaking glitchy as all heck. Uh, anyways, so once you got up close to three, then head over here, ground pound me some two electric Koopas. I must say, they need to make freaking water and, like, fire Koopas now. Or, actually, yeah, they sort of have gotten a fire Koopa. They have mecha Koopas, which should breathe fire and, uh, Mar Galaxy games. I th Mr. Key pities the Pooh who hasn't played any of the Galaxy games, but... Whatever. I'll, I'll actually be doing Galaxy next anyway, so you guys can see, like, it for yourself, like, how good of a game it actually is. I personally think that Galaxy 1 is the superior game out of the two, because... Oh no, Galaxy 2 just recycled a lot of stuff from the first game, and honestly, in my opinion, didn't make it as good. My best example is... Uh, blue coin in a box. Uh, my best examples would probably be, like, well, I don't know, I could get the actual comments that I have posted. I, I've been arguing over this video on, like, uh, yeah, it was on the Bowser's Galaxy Generator video by, um, Timmy Turner's dad, who is, a uh, awesome, he was a pretty cool guy, you should go, ch uh, if you like video game music, you should go check his stuff out. Uh, but I've been arguing with some people, and I know it's my personal opinion and all that, but I personally did not find, um, one of the themes in Galaxy 2 to be, like, fitting at all for the situation, and that's why I honestly didn't think it was that good of a song that many people considered epic, so... Yeah, like... I don't know, really. So anyways, grab your, uh, shiny eighth red coin. I was actually surprised. I thought I was going to get sidetracked. And uh, I should also show something else off. If you ever see, like, a, like, um, a slope like this that you can walk up, do a, oh, uh, hold on, I did that wrong. I need to, yeah, that, you get an extra, a really huge freaking burst of speed while doing it. However, if you crash into a wall, you'll fall right flat on your butt. It's kind of weird, but... Whatever. Grab your shine sprite, and that's pretty much all we have time for, so... Next time on Mario Sunshine, which will probably be tomorrow, if I'd have to guess, we're gonna be taking on more episodes in Peanut Park. Yeah. <laughs>